Okay, guys, welcome to Dave's LFC Chat. I have a legend with me tonight. He's back. He can't stay off the show. It's Jack Mac LFC in the house. Jackie boy, how are you? Thank you very much for having me on, mate. It's like the old school days, anyway. Back, back a couple. <laughs> where of it days. all began. <laughs> yeah, where it all began, mate. Well, thank you for having me on, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. Okay, absolutely. Hopefully, you're keeping safe and well, mate. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it's crazy fucking. That's just crazy times at the moment. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. We're almost a year into the March. I think was it was the first Corona worst cases, and we're a year in and it has just not got. A, it's just been crazy. Obviously, the vaccine rollout. We're hoping that makes things a lot better and there's a light at the end of the tunnel in more ways than one jack we're two smiling guys here um we got the three points sheffield united at bramall lane yesterday by two goals to nil it wasn't perfect by any means but i think the job yesterday and the remit from Klopp was just win the goddamn game yeah Absolutely spot on there, mate. And I think everyone, when we were watching it last night, just happy with the performance. I think it was back against the wall. It would be against a wilder side. Yes, they've not played as well compared to what they've done last season, but it's always going to be a tricky t- tie. Uh, when we've played them at Anfield last season, they were one of the most impressive sides to come to Anfield last year. But I think this season, yes, you can understand why they're down there, but... I think given Liverpool's previous records in the Premier League as of late, it was you, you hit the nail on the head there, mate. It was a job well done and it wasn't anything more or less, really. It, I think Liverpool knew the job, but it, I think given the results that have went this week, the last couple of weeks Liverpool have not picked up points when teams around them have dropped points, but this week has been the case, apart from obviously Manchester City and if, fingers crossed, Everton do lose tonight. <laughs> Uh, with that make our weekend even a bit better. But yeah, yeah. Liverpool done their job, mate. And it was a, it was a very, I, I was impressed by the way in which Daniel Wijnaldum led the Liverpool squad anyway, with him being captain. Obviously, the absentee of obviously Henderson and Virgil and all the boys anyway. But it was a very good performance. Yeah, yeah. As you said, it wasn't a nine out of ten or even an eight out of ten performance, but that probably didn't need to be. I mean, look at Sheffield United. What is it? That was a twenty first league game lost. I mean, yeah. it's they're breaking the wrong records. And um I was a little nervous going into the game, I have to say, because of our run, we've been, you know, we've been hot Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah. We seen the team sheet came out, you see the spine at the back with Adrian and goal. We know all the problems Adrian has in goal. Yeah. Quebec and Phillips. Now, I predicted Quebec and Phillips would play. I've been talking about it all week. I just thought that would be the way it would be, especially if Fabinho and Henderson weren't there. Um, that could change Tuesday with Fabinho and Jota possibly possibly coming in. Maybe Fabinho starting Jota on the bench, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But um, a bit shaky. It's to be expected, Jack. I mean, what's it? Our 17th, 17th, 17th pairing, 17, 18, yeah. 18th or 17th pairing at the back. I mean, Adrian hasn't had many games. Um, I think Adrian has the best win ratio, 87%. Did you see that? <laughs> he's kept back He's kept back to back clean sheets. Who would have thought it? But that's just like saying if you play one game and you, you get a clean sheet, you have 100% yeah. record. You know well, what I mean? So big, I wouldn't be... Big, uh, Sam, after like 100% win records with... Uh, with England before he was done for betting anyway, so exactly. So I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. be. Uh, but the thing about it is, like, we we got caught once or twice. And what my worry would be if you play that centre back pair and say against Chelsea, a good attacking side like Chelsea, we let them in. I'd say two, maybe three times where a Chelsea player is going to put it away. He's not going to miss the same chances yeah. that they had. It's just not going to happen. Now, you could say, OK, it was the first time. They're a bit rusty. The more they play together, the better they get. The more the understanding is, the better they get. And Alisson yeah. should be back Thursday as well, which will make a difference, of course. But um, we're not out of the woods. I, I want us to go on a 3-4-5 match winning one. Yeah. And as I, we talked about earlier, the, the, the I wouldn't say that the fixtures are, are great. But, I mean, we've Chelsea on Thursday. we Fulham on Sunday. Leipzig. At Anfield, Anfield yeah. doesn't seem to be the place it was without the crowd, of course. Yeah. So we got to get a run together, and one win isn't the panacea, but it's, it's, it's a good. start. It's yeah. a start. We had this against Spurs and uh, West Ham won it. Yeah. We had two great results, and then obviously after the post match, uh, after those two games, we 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 lost or drew games. It, 
it, it centre back played and it was good to see a clean sheet regardless of it. But I think them two they need to get some sort of partnership. And I think Klopp would want not a more than to those two just to stay fit. If it's five or six games, Liverpool have not had that consistent level of the the luxury in which we've had over previous years. But I think yeah, I think with the trends of one of the lads mentioned midweek, it was any team in the Premier League would have struggled and around Europe. It's ridiculous. Yes, you can look to the club and uh, and Jürgen for in terms of not recruiting in the previous windows, but he's got to de- he's got to deal with what the cards he's got in front of him. And obviously, uh, no one can. <laughs> you've got about like five or six first choice centre backs, and two of them are not even defenders. The midfielders, mate. But yeah, it was refreshing to see a, a clean sheet for once uh, for a very a, a very rare over the last couple of weeks, mate. But. Going forward, as you mentioned there, mate, it's obviously the big fixtures, but it's about that consistent level of, I'm hoping, everyone at home, let us know, yeah, I'm just hoping we start, we we end strong, and then we build that into next, the beginning of next season, because I think it's so important, especially Liverpool, fingers crossed, we do the job, just focus one game at a time, focus on the Champions League games when they come about, but yeah. I think top four priority is so important in terms of going forward in the next year and the year after because I tell you that would set the football club back two, three years yeah. in terms yeah. of potential transfers if, if all their top priority signings probably yes they would love to play for Liverpool Football Club but if you're recruiting in today's market all the top players want to play in Europe and it's so obvious when you when you do watch them in interviews and I think Thiago what a fantastic player and, and this ridiculous thing of social media people like I just looking at Thiago, like he's not a good player. He's a world class player, and I think if Jurgen Klopp had his way, he'd play him a lot more further forwards. Yeah, he's and playing the opposition. Yeah, he's, he's opposition. having to play the six and he's having to play the eight. And he, yeah, he, yeah, I think if you utilise him alongside Fabinho and Henderson in that midfield, I tell you, he'd have one of the best midfielders midfield in the whole of Europe. Would be probably a, won't happen until next moment. season. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you, if we get all of our players fully fit and Jota, and then. If we do try and sign a, a, a more experienced centre back with real quality, Varane, uh, I heard Varane was being. Did you hear yeah. about that? Madrid, I, I'd, I'd love that. Like he's, he's a, a proper, fantastic. he's a proper player now. Yeah, he's, he's, a he's, a, he's a, actually he's a ball playing centre half. Yeah, particularly lack, similar to Van Dijk yeah. actually. He's so quick over the ground, and obviously he's won so yeah. many Champions Leagues when he comes inside Real Madrid side at such a young age. Brilliant player, but uh, we we shall see what way the tables turn. On that one, uh, one player in particular yesterday, I think had a pretty good game. I'm sure you'll agree. It was Curtis Jones. Um, he's come on. He's he's a young lad, West Derby boy. What is he? Twenty. Lovely finish. Actually, 19, I thought it was 20. a really really good finish. That did you? Because it was yeah. It, it was, came yeah. at him quick, bang yeah. into the corner. You have to what think do you, about what do you think it. of Curtis Jones' yeah. evolution? Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, me and you spoke over the years. I mean, it's it's. It, that is such a difficult strike. It's 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 easy for those people that haven't like we played football in the park. Well, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know yourself. But it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the world class midfielder that plays for Liverpool. No, it, I wouldn't be able to do that on a FIFA game. Like that end, into the corner. It'd end up in the uh, Stanley Park car park if the volleys over the stand. <laughs> um, but yeah, no phenomenal strike, mate. And I think he's he, he's he's been thrusted into this Liverpool side a bit earlier than Klopp would have expected. But I think he's a he's a lad above his years. He's just, he's obviously got the right people around him at a young age. He speaks very well. You don't have to watch his. He speaks very good Scouse. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can understand. It. You don't need to translate it on that. Um, but yeah, that, he's spot on, mate. You, you only have to watch his interview yesterday. Obviously, talking about his thoughts and prayers go to all Allison's family, and rightly so. That he was dedicating his goal to Ali, and it's that just shows how much. Every single player, the young players and everyone, that it, it's a brother, brotherly mentality and a family atmosphere within the football club. Something that was missed prior to bringing Jürgen Klopp in, I think. Um, but now the players have really bought into what Klopp's idea is. But he's got a very bright future. If you look around the whole of Europe, I'm struggling really, apart from a couple of lads in, in the City A, really, and obviously our uh, France. But if you're looking in terms of just lower than that, him and Harvey Elliott, it, it, the age bracket and there's a couple of lads at Dortmund as well at Reiner uh, I, think he, I think he's American or Brazilian anyway but it, he's a fantastic yeah. technical it's crazy how technical he is as a player he's such a tall lad anyway 
I think he's about five, 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 eleven, six foot odds, really. But he's so good with the ball, and you've everyone, every single one of us has seen it on the telly or if you went to game. He's so good in tight spaces, and it'll be interesting come next season. It, <coughs> sorry, if he does get a bit more time a first team because I think this will give him a load more time and it'd be yeah. interesting to see if Jürgen Klopp does what he does with Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain if he sees the future plans with him ideally would love a fit Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain but for me the way in which Jones has played this season he played like the first game in the Champions League yeah he's taking the ball by the horns he's taking he's taking his chance as you say I think he's a year or two ahead of his progression mm. ahead of where he would would have been if he wouldn't have had the injuries check there's no doubt about it he would have been getting the odd League Cup game, the odd FA Cup game. He definitely wouldn't have been getting, you know, this many league starts. There's just no chance. But uh, which, which is sometimes what you need to do in football. Throw them in. Michael Owen got it done. If you're good enough, if you're good enough, doesn't matter about your age. You can it in a Gerard. Gerard, yeah, yeah. So like that's that's the way I look at it, and it looks like he has a bright future if he keeps his head on. Um, Firmino was getting a lot of stick now. I seen it last night on social media and Twitter and things. Even half time, he missed that. He had a really good chance first half. Even I said in the group chat, it was like, what is he doing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is he but doing I mean, us listen, listen. Yeah. He has. He's had such heights that Champions League season. Even the, the 17 18 season, he was brilliant. The 18 19 when we won the Champions League, and last year he wasn't as good, but he was okay. When you go from them heights and you're not scoring goals, when you're one of those front three, even man, he hasn't been scoring as many as he would have liked. Um, you can get frustrated. I mean, he should have probably scored the one where he ran through. I mean, it was fair. And the other one then, I think because he didn't score that, he shoots. Instead, he tries to square it into no man's land and he should have just shot himself. So yeah. it's it's a confidence thing, isn't it? Yeah, most definitely, mate. And I think you've seen that. From the the goal and, and the it's gone wide. It's yeah, it was gone wide, wide but we'll, we'll give it to Bobby anyway because oh, well, yeah. yeah, well we will, but the bloody uh, the, the the league won't. Yeah, you know no, that, he's you? a he's a confidence player, mate, and I yeah. think. And if you look at a Liverpool's forward free line, anyway, it's ridiculous. The minutes, if you look across the whole of Europe, there's been yeah. no from three no that no plays rest. more minutes than probably them. It's ridiculous. Mane had that off at Afcon when he was away, and he had like a week off. Then come back into I think like two years ago, but and he's had like about one week off within the space of like yeah, three yeah. years. See, see, the, we brought Jota in for that, and to be honest, mm. it was working as you're seeing. With Jota just yeah. exploded, and I, I'm telling you now, if Jota would have stayed fit and not got injured, I, I think we'd have more points. I think we'd have seven or eight, maybe nine points, because some of them draws could have been easily turned with a goal, and Jota would have gave you that. He goal. just needed a bit of rest, Bobby. I think, Dave, and uh, everyone, yeah, you know, yeah. like. I think him himself, he knows, he, he, he loves a bit of confidence. Strikers you see in Europe, uh, yeah. pass on strikers for Liverpool, they love a good arm around the shoulder and Jürgen's given that. And there's no doubt in Bobby Firmino's quality. We all know it. And he just needs a rest. And I think sometimes when you're not playing as well and the top of his game, he'll know himself. He doesn't need the fans. I'm sure, sure, he, you know, sure he knows. Yeah, you know what he, I mean? He'll love not to more, than, but he's not going to get any guaranteed goals. But I think he's been supplying Salah very well. Mane, you could see from a goal point of view, yeah, he's got important goals this season. But I think his standards for which the, the height in which he was hitting. One second, everyone, man. He's got to Is let that the a cat cash? out. Yeah, Is the that cat, a cat, cat Carry on, Dave. <laughs> carry on. Uh, you, let the cat out. Carry on. It's all right. Meow. Meow. He's let the cat out of the bag. He's let the cat out of the bag there. Look, Klopp's underneath the bed. <laughs> I need to put a cast lap on the air. Yeah, let the, the cat out of, the ba- out of the bag there, Jack. <laughs> yeah. Did you carry on? No, did you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slagging you. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the, well, I mean, as you say, it wasn't the best performance, but it was what was needed. We just yeah. needed just to get a clean sheet was a bonus, but just to get the win. Two goals, I'll take it all day long. I don't care how bad Sheffield United are or how bad it, we're, we're doing. We, we, can't, we, can't, we can't control how bad Sheffield United are. We have to just win the bloody game. We have a different game on Thursday night. Chelsea are a good side. They'll, they'll, they'll smell blood. They'll come at us, which might suit us in a way as well. We might have Alisson, Tabinho and Jota back, which will help. But we'll do a video for the Chelsea game. That's a separate, separate Thing. Jack, you final word to you. You're actually you have a gaming channel or something on Twitch. I've seen that. Yeah, I mean, you'd want to give that a plug. Yeah, Jack Mac Gaming, mate. Uh, I've been 
I'm going to try and get a schedule going for obviously my YouTube and then obviously start streaming on, on Twitch anyway. Jack Mack, every night from 8pm, if you like your fussy or you like your Call of Duty or if you know anyone that likes the game and just head over there, mate. Yeah, just uh, enjoy it. Um, as much as I love Liverpool, it's my biggest passion, Liverpool. I think it is for many of us, but I think gaming is another aspect in which I like. And just have a little game on there, just sharing it with amazing people. Um, I'd say have you the game on FIFA, Dave, or anyone watching, but I'd probably like end up winning 20-0 or something like that. No, yeah, yeah. Listen, I don't play Naby Keita because he get injured, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, he's on the game. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much for having me on, mate. Always... No, no problem. we do it again um, maybe next week for the Leipzig game or something like that. That's yeah. Jack Mac LFC on YouTube. I'm sure you know who he is. He's a legend. Jack, stay safe. Talk soon. You, you too, Reds. See you later. Cheers, bro. Bye.